Hi, welcome to one more session of ISTQB Foundation Level Exam Sample Questions. This is session 10 and we are going to check five more questions that will help you prepare for ISTQB Foundation Level Exam. If you find earlier sessions useful or if you have any questions regarding the earlier sessions or even current sessions, do let me know in the comments and I will try to improve in next few videos. So let's take first question. First question is incorrect form of logic coverage is A. Statement coverage, poll coverage, condition coverage and path coverage. So here we are looking for incorrect form of logic coverage. So the keyword incorrect form is necessary to check okay so the statement coverage is a type of logic coverage so that comes in true then poll coverage which does not sound like true we never seen any poll coverage in logic coverage then condition coverage which is again logical and then path coverage which is also logical so the only option here that looks odd is poll coverage and that looks like incorrect form of logic coverage. So the answer is B. So let's take new question. During the software development process, at what point can the test process start? A. When the code is complete. B. When the design is complete. C. When the software requirement have been approved. D. When the first code module is ready for unit testing. Okay. So you have options here. So option A says when the code is complete is not true. That would make that software under waterfall model, which is not going to cover many bugs. Then second, when the design is complete. However, when we are completing design and doing the testing, that would result in more corrections. So this is again not true. See when the software requirements have been approved. This looks like right time to start your test process because here you can find the bugs within your requirements, then design and then coding. Now also check D when the first code module is ready for unit testing. So if our testing process go up to unit testing, then there will be many bugs within our requirements, then code, then design. And after unit testing, all those codes are going to be expensive to fix. So the option C, when the software requirements have been approved, is the right answer here. Let's take next question. Which of the following is not a quality characteristic listed in ISO 9126 standard? A. Functionality. B. Usability. C. Supportability. And D. Maintainability. So the keyword here is not a quality characteristic in ISO 9126 standard. Okay, so if you Google this for ISO 9126 standard, you may find that it doesn't have supportability, right? So we can quickly come to the option of C as our answer. As we already know, functionality, usability, and maintainability are part of quality characteristic in our ISO 9126 standard. So the answer is C. Code coverage is used as a measure of what? A. Defects. B. Trend analysis. C. Test effectiveness. And D. Time spent testing. So code coverage checks for how effective your code is. So the option A for defects is wrong. Option B. Trend analysis is again wrong. C. Test effectiveness is closer and D time spent testing. So time spent testing is again not a major. So option C looks true here. So the answer is C. Let's check new question. In a review meeting, a moderator is a person who A takes minute of the meeting, B mediates between people, C takes telephone calls, D writes a document to be reviewed. 
okay this one is very simple and you can just look at the answers and decide what would be the job profile of moderator so a takes minutes of the meeting is wrong b mediates between people is true c takes telephone calls false then d writes a document to be reviewed so as you can see our moderator here is capable of doing two things writing the document to be reviewed and mediating between people but scribe also do the work of document to be reviewed so in between b and d our answer looks closer with b so the answer is b so keep in mind that moderator mediates between people author decides what to review and scribe writes the log for the document and the changes or updates between documents okay so the answer is b so these are five questions for this session i hope you found this session useful and we will see more such question in future videos